Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. Uh, okay guys, Mount Vernon Kid is back. How's everybody doing? Um, hope everybody enjoyed the first fight um, with uh, Moon Dragon and Sindel. Um, this fight comes from Decepticon Cause, uh, another rookie. Um, and uh, he pits the likes of Killer Frost versus Emma Frost. Yeah, so guys, I'm, I'm I'm I promise you I will keep my biasness to myself about one character. I promise you that. Uh, so let's get off with Killer Frost. So the last time we we saw Killer Frost, Killer Frost has not been introduced into the 52 universe. The last Killer Frost, her name was Doctor. Uh, what was it? Uh, 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 Lois Lincoln, there we go. Uh, she had an experiment done to her and pretty much almost considering the last uh, Killer Frost, she's not the first. And pretty much that's where she became Killer Frost. Now as Killer Frost, in terms of her abilities, and like many other ice villain characters, she, is, she has cryokinesic abilities. So meaning she can generate extreme temperatures of cold to freeze molecules in there you know summon huge ice molecules and everything like that and she's also can absorb heat um meaning she can absorb heat and reduce it reduce the temperature in the person's body into freezing so kind of like uh hot ice in a sense and she's very dangerous she's taken it to a lot of individuals including firestorm um very much that was mainly the most time you would see her is in a firestorm book um, but she's still very dangerous okay so we move on to her combatant in this and uh, this is a uh, Emma Frost uh, the white queen she's former white queen but she's no longer white queen anymore um, like I said guys I'm gonna keep my business so I'll keep it professional. <laughs> uh, Emma Frost, you all know, is a mutant, and she is a telepath. A uh, very powerful telepath. I do they classify her as a mega level? I don't think she's a mega level, um, but she does have a very brash and kind of arrogant demeanor to herself as well. Like she looks a she. I wouldn't say she. she no, I would say she looks a. a she looks down on people sometimes. She definitely thinks that she deserves the best of everything. And that's kind of a manner of how she was raised in a sense. Um, she also has a secondary mutation which is, enables her to go into a diamond form. And I think that's actually a cool uh, secondary mutation for her. And it's come in handy from time to time. Um, but the only problem is there's a weakness to it. When she's in her diamond form, she cannot use her telepathic abilities. So she's vulnerable in a sense, but her diamond form pretty much protects her against physical attacks. And uh, she, when she is fighting hand to hand with her, in her diamond form, you know, you, people get seriously hurt. Um, it's 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 that's just pretty much the sum up of Emma, um, pretty much, and. Um, Boy, that, that took a lot out of me, guys, not to call her names or anything like that. So, congratulate me, guys, on that. Like I said, a skate professional. Um, <laughs> so, in terms of a battle between these two ladies, um, this would be interesting because, in a sense, you know, Frost can just telepathically dominate Killer Frost. Um... 
even from a distance you know not, not even close just from a distance so you can kind of see where it could favor Emma in a battle like this but then in terms of you know Killer Frost could actually get the drop on her by just easily freezing Emma real quick before she could even use her tele te telepathy so there's a lot of factors involved in it and but these two ladies would, well, especially Killer. She, Killer Frost would go all out because Killer Frost is a very underrated villainess, in my opinion. She's one of my favorite DC villains, villainess. Um, but it, it, it's a matter of just that fighting a telepath is very hard. That's the problem right there. And um, what do you guys think, Killer Frost or Emma Frost? And other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Show some love and respect to uh, Decepticon Cause. Uh, this was his creation. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow, uh, Friday, with the next two fights. As always, uh, like I said, uh, the last few fights, I'll be they're going to be back-to-back -back Thursday and Fridays for this section. And uh, other than that, I will see you guys Friday with the fights will be between um fight number 21 is was created by action fan 19 and fight number 22 is created by antonio garcia 1991 so we will see those two fights tomorrow uh won't tell you what they are but uh i hope you guys will enjoy them so other than that you guys take care